Welcome to the Teledynamics video training series for the Grand Stream UCM. Here are the topics being covered today. For simplicity, I've added a table of contents in the description below, allowing you to jump to a particular content section of the video. Now, let's get started. Today, I'm going to show you how to use GrandStream's WAVE application to connect to the UCM 6300's newest feature, the Operator Panel. First, log into the GUI of the UCM. Under Extensions, edit the extension you'll be using to connect to the Operator Panel and verify that you know your WAVE password or reset it here to something that you do know. Next, go to the WAVE tab and verify the WAVE application is enabled for the extension. Always remember to save and apply your changes. Next, open the GrandStream WAVE application on your computer. If you do not have the WAVE application, the installation will be covered later in this video. Once logged into the WAVE application, check under the More option. If you do not see the Operator Panel button, either your version of WAVE needs to be updated or the UCM does not have your extension as having administrator permissions. To check if you have permission on the UCM, go to Call Features Operator Panel. You may need to click the Add button to create a new Operator Panel and then assign extensions as administrator. These are the extensions that can connect to the Operator Panel. Under the Management Module option, these are the extensions to be monitored. Select any additional items you would like to monitor as shown here. Once you are done selecting items, click the Save button. If you want to create multiple operator panels, for example, and assign them based on departmental groups, you can also do this here. Once you have created your operator panels and assigned the extensions to administer them, restart your WAVE application and log in to WAVE. Click the Applications button to see the newly added button for the operator panel. This button opens a new window where you can now see everything that you selected previously to monitor under the newly created operator panel on the UCM. Active calls will be seen in the top left window. Under the operation column, additional tasks can be performed to an active call. You will want to be careful with which extensions you give administrator rights, as those extensions have the ability to transfer, spy, park, answer, etc. the active call, as shown here. The last topic I want to show you today is how to get the latest version of GrandStream UCM firmware and the latest WAVE software version. Go to firmware.grandstream.com and scroll down to the UCM 6300 area. Click on the WAVE version you are needing based on your operating system or device and then check for the download link in the release notes. Install the program and you are all set. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. 
The voiceover service featured in this video has been provided by me, Allison Smith of the IVR Voice. Contact me today for your custom IVR and voice services needs. If you have questions or need additional information about the topics covered in today's video, please contact your Teledynamics salesperson or contact us using the information provided here.